Hi boys and girls and welcome to our second story time with me, Chloe and Jake. Oh, Jake, where's he gone? Oh, I don't know, he was here a second ago. I know, perhaps you at home could join in with me in calling out his name and going, Jake, Jake, where are you, Jake? Hi, Jake, can you wave to all the boys and girls at home? Hi. Now. How are you today? You're feeling really excited. Why are you feeling really excited? You're feeling really excited because it's nearly Easter. Oh, that is really exciting. What is the most exciting thing that you're looking forward to about Easter? Okay, I am sure there's lots of boys and girls looking forward to this too. Jake is looking forward to eating lots of chocolate. <gasps> now, have you managed to leave it? Or have you eaten a few pieces? You've eaten a few pieces. I think we all might have eaten a few pieces. Now, why don't we have a story about Easter? I have a story here that's about Good Friday and what Good Friday means. Should we listen to that and find out? Okay, now for boys and girls at home, there are actions that you can do that join in with the story. So Jake and I will do them and we can join in all together. Okay, so this story is called The Cross. Now Jesus did many good things. He healed really sick people. Can we go, yay, I feel really better. Yay, I feel better. Ah, oh, excellent. And Jesus taught people about God's love. Can you give the person next to you a really big hug? Oh, that's it. Well done. Now, unfortunately, there were some people that didn't like Jesus. Can we do an angry face? And wave our fists around? Now, because they didn't like Jesus, they arrested him. Can you put your fists together like this? Like perhaps they've been handcuffed together. Are you right there, Jake? Do you want a hand? Okay, we put them together. Well done, everyone. And because they arrested him, they even then put him on a cross. Can you stretch out your hands and make a cross? Just like that. I'll help you there, Jake. Well done, everyone. Now, even though they put Jesus on a cross, he still showed them God's love. Can you give another a person next to you another big hug? There we go. Thank you. Well done. He showed them God's love by forgiving them for putting him there on the cross. Can we go, wow, wow. And then once Jesus had finished doing his good things on the cross, he died on the cross. Can you do a sad face? Jesus died to take all the bad and wrong things that we do away. Can we pretend to wash ourselves like we're getting rid of the bad and the dirty things off our skin? That's just what Jesus did. And dying on the cross even meant Jesus helped us to do the good things that we should be doing. Now, should we say thank you, Jesus, in sign language? Thank you, Jesus. Now, that might sound a really sad story because Jesus died. And why should it be called Good Friday? Well, it is a good story. Because Jesus died on the cross to take away all the bad things and the wrong things that we do. Which means if we say sorry to God, he will forgive us for the wrong things that we have done. So we really should say thank you to Jesus. Now, if you want to join into our story next week, you will hear the next part of the Easter story. Shall we wave goodbye, Jake? 